Hey there. In this session, we will learn about the various algorithms and the hyperparameters. For this, I have created a folder for session 40 and copied the all file from the session 11. And here I am just printing the value of R square only. As I said previously, the algorithm and its hyperparameter play the vital role in the accuracy of the model. Let me update the program.cs file to execute this demo. Save all the files and run the project. Here we got the 0 0.90. Let me change the value of the maximum number of iteration to the 10. Run it again. This time we got the 0 0.62. This means if we provide the more iteration, then it learned the better from it. Let me change it to the 100 again and pass value for the L1 and L2 regularization. Run it again. We got 0 0.67, but it is less than the default value. Those parameters are known as the hyperparameter for this algorithm. Each trainer and algorithm have a own set of parameters. Now let me change algorithm to LBFGS positional regression. Save the file and run it. Here we got the 0 0.95, even better than SDCA algorithm. This algorithm has a several hyperparameters. Let me just pass the value for optimization tolerance 200. Run it. Oops, here we got the worst result because we have just passed the value for this parameter only. Along with this, we need to pass the value for the other parameters too. Let me use the different algorithm, that is online gradient descent. Run it. Here we just got the 0 0.53. Let me set the number of iteration to the 100. Ta -da! Here we got the far better value. We can add the other trainer and algorithm by adding the NoCat package for this. In the later session, we will see for the adding packages for the time series, fast tree, tensorflow, etc. Stay tuned for the next session.